So thank you so much for saying yes for me to interview you. You have no idea what I'm going to be asking you, right? So this is the Long Island Awakening 2018, and in which it's to like 25 different churches getting together, praying, whether it's for the nation, whether it's for individual trials, you know, that we go through and stuff like that. So you just saw a skit which was about kind of like the idea of wrestling, right? Yeah, that's what we thought. That's what we thought. We were just walking down. We see people jumping. We assumed a wrestling match was going on. <laughs> what's, your, what's your names, first of all? Emma. Hi, Emma. Kimberly. Kimberly. Nice to meet you. Jean Marie. Um, so, you have any idea what this is about, though, other than what I just mentioned? No. Okay. The reason why, you know, the churches are here is to be able to, as people who are maybe thinking about their faith, thinking about what they believe, maybe something will interest them, and that's why they had the wrestling skit, okay, which interests you, all right? And so then if you saw it towards the end is that he won, he got all the fame and glory, but in his life there's trials that he went through and how sometimes even the trials in life can just weigh you down and how do you get release of that weight right mm -hmm. and with us what we believe is through jesus christ because he tells us you know that he will be with us through our trials he will you know to give us your your burdens so we you know and this way he'll make it lighter for you and um so what is your faith what do you believe wait in god <laughs> i'm a christian, a christian. yeah okay. Yeah, since I was, like, little. I mean, because we can all be born into a Christian family, but what happens is we believe because we're told to believe, you know? So sometimes what it is is in individuals will have their own experience in their life to truly understand God really is real. Jesus Christ really is the Son of God. He really did die for me. I really am a sinner. Did you ever come to that point in your life? Not yet. I mean, I'm still young, so I haven't really had that much trauma within my life so far so yeah luckily I've been blessed all my life so far so not yet but you know what I've, what I've noticed the people who have actually had trials in their life that's when they come to know Jesus Christ because when everything is going great in, a, in, in the world you don't have to call to anybody to say help me but it's when you know somebody gets arrested they get put in jail and the only thing they have is a Bible on the shelf and that's when they come to realize and sometimes even come to know Christ because of that you know because they read it and realize oh my goodness I'm not alone you know I mean, this is a good way to get people interested I mean we were just walking by and we just want to know what's going on and we stuck around so I'm 21 22 so maybe by you seeing something like this, it'll make you now start to really think, you know? Yeah, Honestly, what would happen, God forbid, if something happened to you? You know what I'm saying? Do you ever really, really think about it? No, I think about it and like I I pray that nothing does happen and that I'm lucky that my family's healthy and we're all good and just trying to keep the good vibes going. So Absolutely. I'm happy, luckily everyone's healthy, happy, I have good friends, good family. So luckily, I've never had to come to that point in my life yet, and I hope I don't have to. And you know what? And, and that's a blessing, you know? But I hate to say that as life goes on, there's going to be trials, you know? And so, some people will say, oh, I could get into heaven because I'm a good person. Do you believe that? I mean, I don't think just walking around saying it's easy to get in. I think you have to do good without really wanting the attention and the credit from actually doing those good deeds i feel you should do it from like the kindness of your heart so i mean i feel like if you are a good person and you do well and even if you do make mistakes along the road like there's always time to make up for it i believe the same actions do speak louder than words you can walk around saying you're so good but it does take actions to prove, to prove that as well you know what? I mean, we're all supposed to be examples of what Jesus wants us to be, to do what he would do. What would Jesus do? And Jesus would be good. He would be kind. He'd be loving. He'd be there for our friend, you know? But, as we know, in the Bible it says that you can't get into heaven based on good works. 
okay? Because if you could, then there's no reason why Jesus had to come down and die on the cross for you and, and go through what he had to do, the pain and punishment. It's only because of him he takes our sins. So believe it or not, you got the Ten Commandments. And have you ever told a white lie? I have. Right? Yes. <laughs> a lot of people are guilty. I mean, honestly, yeah, everyone's guilty of that. Honestly, we've all told white lies. Yeah. Because you know what? When somebody's saying to you, hey, by the way, how do I look? You're not going to say, by the way, you look horrible. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, you're going to, right? But pretty much you try to be kind, no, uh, yeah, all right? And then when you're not even thinking, you're taking that paper clip from the office thinking, no big deal. But you're actually stealing. Yeah. So based yeah. on God, you know, his, his, his standard is so much higher than ours that we cannot meet God's standards uh, on our own. So it's only by the grace of God and what he did on the cross. Mm -hmm. So even if we're as good as Mother Teresa, it's still not enough to get into heaven based on our own works. Because it says in the Bible, there's no one righteous, not even one. So that's why, you know, you have to think to yourself and say, do I really know Jesus Christ? Is he really, you know, my Lord and my Savior? Did I really ask him to forgive me for my Listen, sins because I know I'm a sinner? Know you know what I'm saying? Stopped, because it says in John 3.16, the most popular Bible verse. John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. You know? And it also says that every knee will bow that Jesus Christ is Lord. So even for, even for the people who don't believe in Jesus Christ, they're going to have to one day bow. And the thing is, is you don't want to be forced to bow. You want to do it on your own, you know, because that means that you've accepted God's grace and what He does. Yeah, absolutely. You know? mm -hmm. yeah. So I don't know if you know, might have thought about it a little bit differently, and, and to realize that it isn't based. Kind of like I haven't really thought about it recently, but I feel like from this experience, and now it's kind of crossing through my mind, and also it's like realizing how I am blessed, and like kind of like counting my blessings almost. You know what? If you could get yourself. A, a Christian Bible, okay, and um, you start with John, chapter John, because it says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and it explains to you who Jesus Christ really is. He's, you know, he's a God who came down in the flesh. He's, he was our sacrificial lamb, you know, and because of, and you would know, is if that, that Adam and Eve, they disobey God. That's why sin entered into this world. So when people say, God's not real because what God would, would take my mother or what God would let this accident happen or what God would let this natural disaster happen, it isn't God. It's just a fallen world, and that comes with the fallen world. You know what I'm saying? And God also gives us all free will. So when he gives us all free will, we can choose to be good. We, we can choose to love, we can choose to hate. We can choose to let people live, or we can kill them. You know what I'm saying? So then that's a consequence of free will. So it isn't God that does all this. It's just a fallen world, and it's the will of man. You know, what God's will is, what he wanted to do was to give us the original plan was the paradise, the garden of Eden, when everything was perfect, you know. And so in the end, now his will if for man is, if for human beings, is to have them come back home to be with him. But the only way they can be home with him is to through his son. And it's only through his son that Jesus Christ can represent you and to say, Father, forgive them for their sins. Yeah. Because I died for their sins. So, I mean, I just think it's a weird coincidence today. I mean, I almost got into a bad car accident. I got into her car, like, right before we came here, and I was like, it was so scary. And honestly, like, I really feel like, by the grace of God, it, it would have been bad. It was, like, almost like a five-car accident. And so it's just weird that this is what we walk into. <laughs> Yeah. No, exactly. That's, that's what I think. You turn on the news today, you see these natural disasters happen. You see these terrorist acts happen. You see people who just go to church getting shot. You know what I'm saying? See, we just don't know, like, tomorrow morning, what, what's our fate, you know? So, like, everything you're saying is going right for you right now. You know what I'm saying? But you just never know. And the thing is that you want to know that, God forbid, if my life was to end, 
where would I go? There, and there is such a thing as hell. You know, in, in the Bible, there's more about hell than heaven. Believe it or not, because Jesus, you know, wants to tell you, don't go there. You know, so he wants to tell you that. So, so I'm glad the fact that we got a chance to meet. And I hope the fact that now you go home, you pick up the Bible, you start with the chapter John. You know, don't start with the book of Revelations like I did when, when I did when I was 13. It scared the heck out of me. But you know, but the thing is, start there, and then ask God to speak with you. You know. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Stay well. Family favors. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. You too. Bye bye. To accept and receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, please say this prayer. I know that I am a sinner who needs forgiveness. Jesus, please forgive me for all my sins and purify me. I know that you died and rose again to pay for my sins. I need you to be my Lord and Savior for the rest of my life. Thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen. For more information on Inspired Blessings book, CD albums, photograph prints, Jean Marie Prince greeting cards, and speaking engagements, jeanmarieprince.com, as well as Facebook page, Inspired Blessings for updates, and CD Baby to listen to the songs. Thank you and God bless. For more information on Inspired Blessings book, CD albums, photograph prints, Jean Marie Prince greeting cards, and speaking engagements, jeanmarieprince.com dot com as well as Facebook page Inspired Blessings for updates and C D Baby to listen to the songs. Thank you and God bless.